It's the Allen Show because it stars Allen. Da. Scary, Scary music, music, evil, evil laughter. laughter. Today we're gonna make a cheap and easy wine dispensing pumpkin party favor. For your next Halloween party. Okay, so two years ago, two of my favorite YouTubers, Rob Zar from Threadbangers and Hannah Hart, did a video in which they made a pumpkin tap, and their end product looked really great. But I was looking at it and I thought, you know what, I can make it a lot cheaper and easier, and so I did. Before we get started, I should mention that the bag that I used from the box wine is number seven plastic. So if that's a problem, well, that's what it is. So the first thing you need to do is gather your instruments. You're going to need a sharp knife, a gutting tool. I used a grapefruit spoon and it worked great. A box wine. You can change out the liquid if you like, but the box wine you need for the spigot and the bag. You might need a funnel, a closure of some sort. I used a pants hanger and snapped off the end part, but you could also use a binder clip and a rubber band. You also might need a hobby knife, like an X-Acto. I used a number two X-Acto. And a small chisel or flathead screwdriver. That's what I used to do the carving. So first you need to take off the top, let your cat take deep whiffs of the fresh pumpkin, then remove the delicious guts inside. I found using a grapefruit spoon to dig out the pumpkin worked great and took minutes. Next you'll want to decide what you want to put in the pumpkin. If all you want to do is put wine in it, this project is going to be real simple. But if you want to put anything else in it, that's fine too. Just empty the wine and clean out the bag. After the bag is empty, cut a diagonal slit. You'll notice when you cut the slit that the wine is double bagged, meaning you need to fill the bag in the middle, not either of the pockets formed by the outer bag. I recommend slitting the outer layers just a bit so it's easy to split the middle bag open for filling and refilling. Fill the bag with anything as or less dense than water, wine, or booze. I haven't tested the nozzle with juice or anything frozen, but my instinct tells me it wouldn't end well. All booze, wines, and thin liquids should do fine. Once your liquid is in the bag, fold over the side that is cut, fold it twice, and place a closure on it. Next you'll need to carve a hole in your pumpkin. Use a caliper or a string or ruler or whatever you have on hand to measure the diameter of the largest ring from the nozzle to the bag. Make a hole that is this large and no larger. I made a hole that was slightly smaller and then worked my way up to the exact size. Getting the hole right is the most important part of this project. The pumpkin is this thick. I just measured the thickness with the knife. I saw it going in. Now I'll make sure it's not too thick for this to come out. And it looks like it's going to be just fine. Just perfect. So if it weren't, then I would scrape a little away from the inside so it could success. So now you can see it fits very nicely and snugly there in the pumpkin. And uh, the closer we get that hole to those dimensions, the better it's going to fit to stick there for people to use. So then open the pumpkin, put in the bag, test the nozzle for fit. If you have a pumpkin that's too small for the liquid in the bag, drain some out. The wine bags in the box wines are huge. They have well over enough to put a large bottle of liquor, probably even two large bottles of liquor. Now, like I said, you can put your own bag in there, fill it with stuff, and I'll show you that in a second. Or you can just stick the wine bag. Now this wine bag holds three liters, so four bottles worth of wine. So don't worry about if you have to take some off the top, blood, blood, uh, if you are coming to the party with three bottles worth of wine rather than the four. What the bag looks like empty, no wine in it, and you can fill it with whatever you want. What I'm going to do is open this up to the middle two. Make sure I've got the middle two. I'm going to fill it with, in my case I'm going to fill it with water because I don't have any rum. And uh, I'm going to fill it with 750 milliliters. So that's a normal bottle of liquor. So this is all the fuller it looks when it's like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these things and get these off of hangers, uh, pants hangers. And it has a nice strong clip on it. And the inside has silicone. And this is good because this thing will, it 
silicone doesn't care about wet or cold. So I'm going to fold this over twice. Clip that in there, right on there. And you can see it's upside down, it doesn't leak. That's how fast that was, that's how easy that was. Now we're going to put it right back side up, and we're going to put that in the pumpkin. Let's say you want to make sure that people got the liquor, that it didn't just sit in there. You can put a cardboard platform in the pumpkin that's angled up to the side, so that it will definitely dispense downward. Now I'm going to do that right now because I don't want to. I used was medium to small and it held well over three bottles of wine, so I just drained a little bit out of the bag to let it fit. You're going to need a sturdy base for your jack o' lantern. I use a bowl in the pictures here, but you could do something a little more decorative. You could easily use the empty cardboard ring from a package tape dispenser and decorate it with things other than just what it is. As long as your pumpkin is stable and it's lifted off the counter a little bit so you can set it back on the counter and people can still get their booze. As for carving, unless you don't mind folks seeing the blood of the pumpkin slowly draining from the bag inside, you don't want to carve all the way through. Instead, you want to chisel out a design. I googled line art and then the type of shape I wanted. I went with a poison theme because that's what I thought of. To carve, I attached the line art where I wanted it, and then I used a hobby knife to carve out the negative with an outline around the shape. After cutting the lines with the knife, I used a flathead screwdriver to chisel out the unneeded orange bits. If you use lights, use LEDs that are pumpkin safe. Not only do you want to protect the pumpkin, you want to protect the liquid from getting warm. I hope you enjoyed this project. I am currently enjoying it very much. Uh, stay safe and drink responsibly. And happy Halloween.